Well, hello everybody. I am Mark Anthony. I am the Vegas Tourist. Welcome back to my channel. Yes, I'm back. I'm still in quarantine, still locked down. It really isn't quarantine. It's 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 locked down, all right? Uh, and trying to get uh, caught up on some of my, my very long to-do list. Very long. About a year ago, I was sitting in a McDonald's having breakfast. Don't judge me, all right? And I was there, I was doing my own thing, and I brought up my smartphone. I was starting to play on Facebook and what have you. And for whatever reason, don't know why, but for whatever reason, across the room from me at a different table, there was a gentleman with a laptop, and he caught my attention. And what it was, was as people were walking by, if they had their smartphone up, or when they sat down and they opened up their, their laptop or whatever, He'd look at them, and then he'd type some keys in, and then he'd go and, you know, have a drink or whatever, and he'd watch somebody else go by, and he'd do the exact same thing. Then, you know, and certain people he was really fascinated focusing in on, and others he really didn't seem to care about, and he'd make some uh, keystrokes. That was it. It dawned on me right then what he was doing. He was logging information. He was intercepting the free Wi-Fi. He was looking at what I was looking at. He was looking at, at my passwords, my login information, you know, my correspondence, whatever. He was, he was recording that. Now, probably like a lot of you, I at first had that thought you know because we're told all of the time secure your your you know secure your devices don't go out unprotected blah 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 and you know, but i don't do that much on my smartphone and then i started to think about it going yeah i do actually facebook gmail instagram um, once in a while bank account things like that or just the regular correspondence of my gmail nobody else needs to know who and why i'm talking to them and it kind of freaked me out to be honest with you man i shut everything down finished what i was eating and and i and, and i ran home and i got on to to uh, to the internet i you know i i i did some google searching and i was asking friends you know what do I do? How do I protect this, you know, affordably? And of course, they came back going VPN, virtual private network. And ever since since that day, I have not traveled without my VPN turned on. When I leave the house, it's on my smartphone. When I have a have, when I have my laptop, I power that up first. Uh, a lot of times when I'm at home here, because I have other things in in the pipeline, I, I don't need the, the uh, VPN here, but I do use it uh, on a occasion just to add that second layer of uh, security. Because I started, you know, you, okay, he might not need to know why I'm on Facebook. He doesn't need to know who I'm talking to. There's not that big of a deal. I'm not doing that much online, but you really are. It's not what you're doing, it's what what he can do with that information, with your login information, whether he's selling it to the federal government, spying on you or whatever, there's just so many things that can happen. Other people that, that he could sell that, that information to can get into your Facebook and do all kinds of damage. They can get into your Instagram and do all kinds of, of uh, reputation damage. They can, you know, um, a lot of people use, use the exact same login for all of their social media accounts and all of their email accounts. And, and, okay, it's, it's not what he can do. It's what other people can do with that information that, that really endangers you. And why I am a big, strong advocate of traveling with a VPN. Here's what I'm talking about. All right, so I went home after my breakfast there at mcdonald's ran home logged onto my onto my computer and kind of put the word out i want to know more about a vpn you know, do you use them why what are some of the benefits which ones do you use you can see here that i am logged into mine i am 
uh, going through a server in Los Angeles. However, I can go pretty well anywhere around the world. Now, and why would you do that? I will show you that here in a couple of minutes. But I am logged on to Los Angeles, which is really cool because now all of the online advertisers think that I am in LA and not in Henderson, Nevada. Of course, most of my friends and Google said, hey, you got to do NordVPN. They've got the best, the best prices, the best deals, blah, 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 blah. And they were right. They have the best deals and they are very, very popular, which means they get slammed. They get hammered. The servers just, you know, I had more, so, so I had more problems, you know. Look at there, 70% off, 30 day money back guarantee, blah, 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 blah. Once I bought it, bought into them, yeah, everything went to shit. So, um, yeah, I no. But I will show you this. They say that I am unprotected. My ISP is quad, Quadranet. Well, that's in Los Angeles. Here's my IP address. This is Los Angeles. I'm in Henderson, Nevada. Yeah. Are you getting the idea now? So anyway, I stopped using them and and I went with ExpressVPN. And if you would like to try ExpressVPN, here is your offer, 30 days free. Just, just use that website. Using this address here, folks, you get 30 days free. I get 30 days free, just so you know, all right? However, I personally use ExpressVPN and I love them. Now, most of your top VPNs work similarly, if not exactly, as Express. They just work better for me, all right? Basically, what happens is I'm sitting at McDonald's. I'm on my laptop. I'm using their free Wi-Fi. That, so what happens is I go through their ISP out onto the Internet to wherever it is that I'm going. Let's say that I was logging in to Facebook. So I log in here, the hacker sees that I am logging in, he sees my password, he sees my username, he sees my account. Uh, if I'm doing financial transactions, he sees my bank account, things like that. And it goes on there. ExpressVPN, NordVPN, what they do is they encrypt it at the source. Not, not, not only do they encrypt it, but they send it to their servers in Los Angeles, in Chicago, in Germany, wherever. They're sending it through their servers. Okay, so if I'm logging into Facebook here, going through Express, all the hacker sees is a bunch of encrypted data and if for whatever reason or some strange power he's able to detect anything the only thing he's going to know is that i am in los angeles although i'm sitting across from him in las vegas and then it goes to facebook and and facebook goes oh hi mark how are you doing nobody sees anything because express is in i think the british virgin islands they they keep no records of this not only is is my transmissions in, encrypted being sent through a different set of servers there's no logging of that information and i'll get into that here in a second all right express vpn nor the all, all of the top ones do the exact same thing they hide your ip and your location all right this this is what tells the hacker what your log on log into your smartphone or your laptop is they have 160 server locations across the world they use 256 bit encryption um, there's there's no way for this to be intercepted uh, if for whatever reason your connection to their servers is dropped you you will get a warning that they are no longer that that your device is no longer connected to the internet you can hit a kill switch that'll go around it but you're not protected this is one that i did not realize when you're on netflix you're on hbo you're on 
you know, and you're watching it on your laptop, on your computer, whatever, you're looking at the American version. You're, and the British versions, the German versions, there's different content out there based upon that country's rules and regulations as far as copyright goes, as far as censorship goes, thing, 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 things like that. Um, uh, there's a couple of great Netflix shows that if you watch them in America and then you flip over to a, a British server, you're going to see the same show, but it's going to look different because they have different censorship over there. Here are the Mona Lisa twins. They are from Austria. They are identical. They are identical twins. Uh, they do some wonderful music. They they do some. They do a lot of cover bands. Some of the more famous songs. They can do just about everything. They do Hotel California. Ah, here I am, in the United States, and I cannot watch it because it's blocked on copyright grounds. Over to Express, hit Germany. During the connection, it becomes unsecure. I am now connected to a German server. Oh, look at there, Hotel California by the Mona Lisa Twins. So it gets around censorship, it gets around copyrights, things like that. Because it is encrypted when it leaves your device and goes out onto the internet, it goes through servers in, in, in different cities or different nations. Um, there is no way for people to spy on you, the governments, ISPs, things like that. Being that they are in, in the British Virgin Islands, they are able to keep no records. So it is definitely as private as you can get. Here in America, if 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 they were based in, in in America, they would have to maintain all kinds of records on where I went, what sites I visited, when did I log on, thing, thing, things like that. In countries like China, China's uh, China has to be able to look into your files and see exactly what you're doing. This avoids all of that. Here's an interesting one. Say that you're going to travel to like from Chicago to Las Vegas and you're, uh, and you're going to fly based upon where you're at. You, there's a chance that you're, that you're going to get a different quote. You're going to get a different price quote based upon your location. This, this helps you do that by hiding your, 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 your IP, things like that. You can literally go shopping for better deals by just changing your ISP location. There are ways of getting better deals by just changing where they think you're coming from on the internet. You know, if you're coming from a small town in in Wisconsin, the price is going to be different than if you're coming from Las Vegas. I haven't had a chance to deal with that, but I've known other people who have. Express, Nord, the other, the other top ones work on pretty much all of your devices, laptops, uh, uh, your home computer, your, your, your smartphone, your Apple TV, your router, okay? Total compatibility. Okay, going back to the security issue and my guy in the McDonald's, I, I think he is doing this. He was looking at what I was sending, the packets that I was sending out. We had this happen once here in Las Vegas. Um, somebody set up a fake network in one of the hotels. Uh, they uh, didn't last long because, because he got caught. It was just boom. But it did happen. It does happen all the time. And then you have the man in the middle attacks. Having a VPN eliminates all of this. This is why I always say if, if you're traveling 
if you're running around town, if you're using public Wi-Fi, you need a VPN, all right? Whether it's ExpressVPN, it's NordVPN, or one of the other ones, this is why you need to have something on your device and you need to have it activate. So there you have it. Are you going to use a VPN? Do you use a, use a VPN? What do you think? Which ones do you use? Which ones do you want to use? Leave me your comments and your questions down below. And as always, you can visit me on the website. All right. I'm Mark Anthony. Have yourself a wonderful day and I will see you on the next video.